Hi, I'm Kate Washington. I'm a senior in the plumbing program at the Commonwealth Career and Tech Center. My teacher, Mr. Jeffries, asked me to talk about my experience in the plumbing program, and I had jumped at the chance. I started out wanting to work in childcare. I thought I might be a teacher one day, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to teach. My mom is a child care provider for six toddlers, and I help her sometimes. I like the kids, but it's not my passion or anything. While thinking about what I might want to do, I heard about a building trades program Mr. Jeffries and Ms. Fields were offering where students could apply to work in a national disaster area for a week. It's based on a similar program in Dauphin County Technical School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It sounded pretty cool, but I wasn't sure I was qualified. I didn't know anything about the building trades. Ms. Fields told me not to worry, and I'd learn on the job. I decided to apply and just see what happened. I had to get two teachers to recommend me, and I had to write an essay on why I wanted to go. I talked to my mom. She's a single parent, while my father is deployed for the Army. I Skyped with my dad once a week, and he told me to go for it. My mom was a little worried, but she talked to Mr. Jeffries and Ms. Fields and felt better. It took forever to write the essay, but I guess it was okay because I got picked. There was a lot to do before we could go. I had to pack, get a medical checkup, and help fundraise. When the time came to go, we had two minivans loaded with kids and bags, and the whole school came outside and cheered for us. The trip was great. There were 12 of us, and we were all different, guys and girls, a student who's gay, a boy whose dad is black, and his mom is Asian. And I made a new best friend, Rosita. Her family's from Guatemala. I told everyone about my reading disability. Ms. Field said it's good I understand my disability, but I have so many abilities to learn about. She said it's important to find our gifts and use them to better the world. I like that. That week was the hardest of my life. We worked 12 hours each day to help a community recovering from a flood and then talked for hours at night. We ate fast meals and slept on a hard church floor. I learned about drywall taping and mud. I painted and ran electrical wire. I hammered and carried wood I swept trash and climbed on a roof to help lay shingles. The part I liked best, though, was learning about the importance of plumbing. I met Mr. Jones, who owns his own plumbing business. He told me about the importance of clean water. Before plumbing, people had to drink dirty water and it killed them. When a town is flooded and their water gets contaminated, plumbers become first responders, too. Plumbing is even more important than electricity. It's not just about taking away waste, it's also about bringing fresh water and gas for heating and cooking. Mr. Jones told me about all the different kinds of plumbing jobs, not just new construction, but infrastructure repair too. That week changed my life. I'm now in my second year of the plumbing program with Rosita. I have learned a ton about installing and repairing water, drainage, gas, and other piping systems. Everyone in the program is so nice, and we all help each other study for the NACT exam, which is like advanced placement testing for CTE. When I graduate, I have an apprenticeship with a huge construction company where I'll get paid to learn. I found friends, I found a job, and I found a way to make a lot of money. And thanks to Commonwealth Career and Tech Center, I found my passion, which is a gift that I can share with the world. I made the right choice for me.